Hello everybody, this is how to get good quality uh, videos out of Windows Movie Maker Live for Windows 7. Uh, what you need, the only thing you need, is Windows Movie Maker Live. If you don't already have it downloaded for Windows 7, okay, just type in Live on your Start menu and click Go on Live to get Windows Live Essentials. Just click Download Now and then just install it. It's not very difficult. As you can see, there's Movie Maker. You get all this other cool stuff. I think I downloaded Photo Gallery Movie Maker. I didn't need the other stuff. Once that is all downloaded and all that stuff, okay, you go to Windows Live Movie Maker, and you need a clip first of all. So I just, let me just get a clip for you guys. No, I don't have a good clip. Uh, never knew it would be this hard just to get a good clip. Yeah, we'll just throw that in there. Okay. Look at that, I'm losing. Anyway, what you do is, once you have your movie all edited, or your video all edited, you go to Create Custom Setting. What you do here, you just name it, whatever you want to name it, so, hi quality is what I'll name my test one and we'll do 1920 by 1080 okay you can either you can do whatever you want I'm just doing 16 by 9 and you and it's in 1080p as you can tell 1080 1920 by 1080 or you can do 1280 by 720 most YouTube videos 720p is good enough but YouTube de degrades the video quality already so if you do 720 you do a high like resolution and so what you do here it says you have an incorrect value and it says 100 to 135,000 well most likely you want good quality so I'm not going to do 135 but I'll do 120,000 and you see that you can't go over it it'll fake tell you and then most likely 1080p is captured at 30 FPS 720 can be captured at 59.94 but 30 for 1080p is usually how it is. Uh, don't hold me on that though. That's just what I'm pretty sure. And all you do is save it. And just save it along there. And then go back to save movie. And you'll see your high quality right here. And so if you look at this one, it says the bitrate is 24 megabytes. This one is 120 megabytes so there's a difference from what they already give you and what you just made there's a very noticeable difference for also for you guys so you just select that you save your movie and then voila you have actually actually good quality coming from Windows Movie Maker Live never thought that would happen would you I mean you don't need to use Sony Vegas unless you need to do all these effects or Premiere or After Effects Windows Movie Maker Live actually can do something. So yeah, hope that helped. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. And thanks for watching.